Our hostages are not lost. We won't sit around and hope they're found. We will rescue our hostages at all costs. It is our duty, it is our moral responsibility of the Israeli Defense Forces. It's why we fight and why we must keep on fighting until all our hostages are home. Last night, Elma Avraham was released from Hamas captivity. She was rushed to a hospital in critical condition. Elma is 84 years old. She's a mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother. During the Hamas massacre of October 7th, Elma was taken hostage by savage terrorists. She was dragged into Gaza on the back of a motorbike. Elma was in Hamas captivity for 51 days and nights. She was kept in a, in a harsh condition. She was denied life-saving medication. She was not visited by the Red Cross. When she was released from captivity, she was in a critical condition. Elma is a reminder of her critical mission. Now she's home. She's being taken care of. But who's taking care of other hostages in Gaza? Over 150 of our hostages, men, women, children, babies, who's taking care of them? Who is holding a 10 months old baby, Kfir Bivas? I'll tell you, ruthless terrorists are holding him hostage in Gaza. We call on the international organization, especially the Red Cross, to use every tool at their disposal to gain access to our hostages, to make sure they're receiving the medical care they need. Our hostages are not lost. We won't sit around and hope they're found. We will rescue our hostages at all costs. It is our duty, it is our moral responsibility of the Israeli Defense Forces. It's why we fight and why we must keep on fighting until all our hostages are home.